everyone welcome to the tech channel it's been a while i didn't uh, upload something today we'll have a siemens ti portal uh, tutorial we'll talk about a uh, little bit about uh, wincc flex 7 for supervisory control and data acquisition so first we're gonna create a new project i'm gonna call it like a uh, project CC and we're gonna do like a little simulation about a traffic light uh, project so we'll configure a device as I did in my old uh, tutorials I work with the oh sorry 314 So here we have our PLC. We're gonna write a sequential function chart program, and I did this in my previous tutorial. You can watch it if you didn't. So here we're gonna add a new block. We use like a function block graph, and okay. So this is our sequence, we're gonna do like as I said a traffic light, traffic light has three lights, green and yellow or orange as you want and red, we're gonna do like three steps, add a step and a transition, step and a transition, then we have like a jump to the step one. So for step one, I'm gonna use like the qualifier n set as long as the action is active, and I'm gonna use like some memory bytes 0.0. For the second one, I'm gonna use like 0.1. for the other one and like 0.2 and between each one of them we're gonna add like a delay of like uh, 5 seconds so now I just want to show like an example in the WinCC and first I have to create my Uh, sorry, I have to create like my sequence. I lost the file. So five seconds for each like uh, step or action. Zero point zero zero point one zero point two. I'm gonna now rename them. PLC tags show all tags and I'm gonna rename them do not lose the uh, name so here we have m0.0 .0, which is the first one let's begin with the red so after the red it comes the green then yellow or orange let's make it orange Okay, we have like uh, three lights, and let's go to the main and add this block here. We're not gonna use uh, all this, just uh, the block I need. And okay, for main, let's save the project. Let's use uh, let's simulate this block. So we know it's all good. Run. So we have to load our program. 
wrap first. Yeah. Program is loaded. Let's run. So we have a read, then green after five seconds for each one, then yellow. It's all good. I'm gonna stop this, and we're gonna now add like a screen for uh, like the WinCC. So here we go to add a new device, and here we go to HMI human machine interface we're gonna use like a, a basic panel and like use 10 inch display K ktp 1000 and this use this one with the mpi profiles you can use the one you are using actually here i'm just using like a simulation there is no problem so this will just like an uh, introduction for the HMI it's not a big deal we're gonna not enter into details so here we select like the PLC we're gonna use uh, to like uh, make a connection with our uh, HMI so we are using one PLC which is 314 and we are using MPI connection and pass next here you can add like the and time and logo you can add your logo if you want to replace like uh, this Siemens logo here I will leave it as it is here you can add like alarms the events then screen we can add them later later if you want here we're gonna use only one screen also it is for the system screen like user and admin and uh, informations system information too buttons we're gonna leave it as it is like home button and shutdown button you can modify this if you want and remember this is just like a little introduction to WinCC so here I have like my screen I'm gonna remove this just click let remove this I'm gonna zoom a little bit okay here we want like to add uh, three green three lights sorry three lights for like a traffic light here we're gonna go to our basic objects and we add like a circle and we click here and we draw one circle I want them like the same size so I'm going to just control C to copy and control V to pass I'm going to pass it right behind it here and control V it automatically added another one below them you can add like a text if you want like let's name like traffic light project I cannot uh, here I must go to properties sorry I move a little bit okay properties here you can have like the color of the background and the text itself use a bright color and you can modify like the format and the style as you want make it big okay very simple we're gonna 
now like uh, use a connection between the the circles and their uh, variables like and or their tags so first we're gonna go to this one uh, which is the red one here we go to properties and here in animations we're gonna add like dynamize color and flashy and we'll create a new animation here we connect it to its tag so here we go and we go to the PLC tags default tag, tag table and we go to red so here this circle here is connected to red variable and here we can modify what we should do like here for the color I'm gonna add a new range for the color so here from like here with the from if we let it 0 and 1 the color will be white if the if the variable is 0 its value is 0 like it's not active but us we want like a 1 from 1 to 1 here we can only have like two uh, values 0 or 1 and you should select it like from 0 to 0 or from 1 to 1 here like we're gonna select the color so from 1 to 1 we're gonna have like this red color and with no flashing it's okay now we're gonna do second one dynamize color and flashing it's related to the orange same thing for the previous one range only one and I use the orange, no flashing too, and the last one is for the green. Like from one, okay. It will be this green. Okay, it's simple as that. Gonna save project and we're gonna simulate these things like in the PLC I'm gonna download the device it's already actually downloaded but let's do it again program is loaded and we go here I hope it's uh, let's don't forget to modify something in the tags something important so here we have like the tags and the type of tags here we go to the acquisition cycle and we modify it from one second to the least possible which is 100 milliseconds to be as fast as possible with the PLC ok save project let's verify the network it's connected on the API ok now let's try to simulate this ok it's connected it's in uh, orange because here we have orange now remove it let's make a run ok we are here it begins from orange ok here we have red green then orange and red this is actually very simple it's a simple example of the traffic lights we can add like a button let's make this stop and remove this we're gonna add a few things like here from the from our block it's here add like a star button if one comes zero 
is m1.0 I'm gonna rename it here like a star button so this is our start button here we can add the button and in the HMI the root screen we go here and here I have button I click and drag it here I can name it like here start then we select the button itself go here for its uh, properties and we add like a event so event here like uh, I hope I didn't forget this is it a click or something yes click or click I think yes click and we add like a function so click for this function like uh, for system function here edit bytes I think yes invert bytes because uh, sorry for this because I use it in French forgot about English a little bit tag so like it inverts the tag if it's zero it become one if it's one it becomes zero and we act like on this uh, star we select star like from the from the PLC tags and we're gonna save project Okay, project saved. I'm gonna load my program in the in here. Then I'm gonna launch my HMI. Okay, here it is. I think we must go back to the cycle know where are we okay now actually it should stop here let's wait a few seconds yes it stops and now it's waiting for our star we click star so the cycle is turning on again now it will function uh, as it is Now the cycle is functioning uh, normally because our star button is uh, on one. If I click here, it will stop, but not now. Just waiting for the red, and it will stop. Okay, for this, see, this is how simple you can add like a. So this is for the button. In there, actually, uh, it's very simple. You just uh, change like the inverse bytes, or you force it to one or uh, zero. It's simple as that. Uh, so this is it for this uh, tutorial. It's very simple, like uh, a few color changing and a button and some text as we use. Later we're gonna use uh, some uh, different functions. And if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe or leave a comment if you have a problem and see you next time